So I've made my own wee little camper in my little Peugeot car. So I'll give you a wee tour of it because I think it's absolutely awesome. We've, I've been working on it for ages and I like watching these things on YouTube. So I may as well show you my version of my car conversion. So let's get into it. So I've pretty much, it's just a Peugeot 208. So nothing too fancy there. It's not the fastest of cars. I added a roof box to put loads of things in the top of it. So I'll flip the camera. Okay, so I'll start with the roof box. I'll get into how I made, I'll give you a wee preview of all the bed. Look at that, a nice single bed. I've made it all myself. I've got a nice wee camping stove and it's nice and just very nice and compact and neat and just well kind of planned. So it took a lot of trial and error, but I got it. So I got the roof box and what I keep inside of it is, is pretty much just clothes. So I just keep my clothes in, the, in there, all the big jackets, all my boots, the wellies. I will keep the, the camping chair, which is around there. Keep that in there. So all the all the warm stuff and then obviously food as well uh, would kind of normally go there. So that's pretty much the camper. I also use it for fishing as well. I do a lot of fishing. So I'll use, I'll put like fishing rods in it as well. So it's just an extra good bit for space because, you know, it's not the biggest of cars. So obviously I had to take out all of the seats except the drivers obviously so all the seats came out and i went to b and q and self-made totally myself i'm not any carpenter but i totally made if you can see this framework so it's probably it's not going to win any awards it's just screwed in with little bits of wood into the plywood and it goes all the way down here so underneath the mattress is these wee bits of foam which is just a wee bit of extra padding and then this area comes up so it's on like a swivel which is there so it's on swivels so this can come up like that and then that is another self-made sort of table which will hold my legs when i'm sleeping obviously that goes up, so I can put that all the way down, flatten that over there, and then put the passenger seat in. So if I'm taking someone out or whatever, um, I've got room for one seat. And then that's just covered by the foam, and then a quilt that I've got from Asda. And it's obviously going to be a star theme, because, well, why not? And then that's pretty much the bed. It's just a straightforward bed. It's very easy. It, it costs about, I don't know, £30 for all the wood and stuff but it's very easily easy made i just thought of it a few legs put it onto some plywood and make a wee swivel so i can get a passenger seat in make a table for to support the legs it's not rocket science really and as you can see it's pretty it's the comfiest thing and it's very comfy so what else have i got i have so underneath underneath the bed is obviously a wee bit of space so i keep the tripods down there my bin is just the floor uh, and shoes there i normally put the shoes on the roof rack but i'm in my slippers sort of thing now because i've just slept in the car so that was the shoes that i was wearing but yeah i keep the tripods under the tape under the bit uh, under the bed uh, if we come around here this is my laptop just there so here's a wee dvd player i used to watch some dvds what have i got We've got some Star Wars, First Man, and Great Outdoors. So that DVD player is great. It's great for when you've not got signal. If you're out and about and there's no signal, just smack on a DVD. So this box here is like my stove box. So I keep pretty much all this stuff in it. I'm just about to have the pot noodles. So I'll keep the, the kettle and my Highlander, what do you call it? Fire little thing. Um, yeah, so I've got a toothbrush in there as well lighters to obviously light the light the fire fidget repellent highly need that if you go anywhere to the west coast of scotland you need that or your life's just going to be hell midget net but yeah that's normally just for my for my fire stuff this is a bag full of my photography equipment so i've got a telescope in there a star tracker and a loads of different other wee accessories binoculars there keep my food just on this wee shelf which is quite nice and then keep my cameras and lenses just along beside the bed pretty much i've got also a big this is 
highly recommend these. It's a huge big battery power. But I use it for light. I use it for light. It's got also the red, so it's good for nighttime vision sort of thing. You can charge your phone, you can charge like the DVD player. You can also restart your car. Save your if your car breaks down, I think you can jump start it with that, that as well. Uh, that lasts really well. That's just a big chunky. That's just a good handy thing to have in the car. What else have we got? We have my light for at night time. So it's just an old headlight that I just popped around the driver's side, the driver's headrest, and just make it a light. So obviously when it's dark, it kind of illuminates the whole the whole car, which is quite nice. Make sure I turn that off. So this is the sleeping bag I use. It's Highlander. Really like their company. Does a lot of the products are just awesome and it's quite good for budget as well. It's a four season sleeping bag, so it's good for literally every season. Really nice and warm. So if I'm wearing my dressing gown and my kind of my warm jammies and have that on, yeah, I don't normally get cold. Nothing in there. Um, I did forget. There's wee pouches here to pop like juices and hand warmers and paracetamols and different things, ice scrapers. That's just a handy thing to have there. And I've got some papers there in case I break down for like phone number, what, who took phone. De-icer at the bottom there. Always handy to have. So when I'm sleeping, obviously at night, uh, you do want, you know, privacy and you want to kind of block out your windows. So. I looked online for like window shades and stuff and it's just kind of a nightmare so I just thought to make my own. So I went to, I think it was B&Q again and just got these, these sort of things. I don't know what it's called, but I made double, I put them double sided so I stuck them together as you can see with cell tape and then you, all you do is stick these on to the window. Just like oh. that's the wrong one. They're all they're all custom made to every single window. So that is this one. So this one it just slips in there. And you fold it in, and it, that does stick in. Look at that. Yeah, it just sticks into the window. So they're all custom made for every single window, including the back, including this one up here. There's a big long one made for that and it just kind of slots in the slight the slight the, the sides and gives you just a wee bit of privacy and kind of blocks out the light they're very handy and they cost a couple pounds to make you just had to kind of make a wee bit of time and do all the measurements to fit every single window and the normal place i store them is just behind them pouches there so they just kind of slot in behind there and that's them completely out the way and out of mind. That's really the basics of it. That's just my little camp there. So storage at the top, take all the seats out, put a bit of wood shelving in pretty much, make a single bed and just keep it nice and tidy. Tidiness is definitely the key to car camping because if it's messy, you just do not enjoy it. So it's nice when it's a day, nice day like this, you can get out and you can kind of sort it from the outside, but see when it's raining or it's windy or if it's midges, you want to do everything inside. So if you, as long as you've got space inside, I've got plenty of space to lie down there and sort all this stuff out, watch TV and pretty much do everything. So yeah, that's pretty much my car camping. Nice stove, nice camping chair, a nice little car. Quite proud of my little car. So here's just a wide view of what my car looks like. Look at that. I think that's quite cool. I also do a bit of fishing as well myself, so you can get like install rod holders so I can put my fishing rod on the outside of the car and I think that just looks pretty cool. My nice wee Peugeot car camping car that I use for all my photography journeys throughout Scotland. And that's about it, that's the, the tour over. It's obviously a small car so there's not too much to tour about and I'm just glad to kind of make it and it's live and it's good to go so I can go around Scotland when I want and 
camp in the car if I'm taking pictures or if I'm going fishing. It's also good for northern lights hunting because you can just lie down and just wait for the northern lights to come out instead of standing in the freezing cold. So it's always a plus doing that. So yeah, if you want to see all the journeys that I'm going to do around Scotland with my wee car camping throughout the year, um, just, you know, subscribe to the page and then you'll see all the all my wee adventures around Scotland. If you've got any questions as well about my car or car camping, uh, just let me know and I'll, I'm sure I'll an answer them because I kind of like this wee community I watch. All the YouTubers I watch are pretty much car campers. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. Cheers. Yeah.